what is up you guys we're Matt from CB12 here and welcome to this video today I am bringing you guys a recap of the final Super Smash Brothers update video the Nintendo did it was a live stream kind of like their Nintendo directs and pretty much today they showcased some new characters and it pretty much showed off what you know the last or the final characters that will be in this game this is the last update for this game DLC wise first off they um, they showed off a new character then they show off some cloud stuff, then show off a bunch of the rest of the me costumes, and then they confirm the winner of the Smash Ballot. And overall, I'm very disappointed in this. Uh, I'm honestly, the most disappointing I've, a disappointment I've been, the biggest disappointment with Nintendo since the game. I don't even know, honestly, since like Robin was confirmed. Honestly, like it's it's like really you, you just did this. So the first character was confirmed was Corrin from Fire Emblem, the new one coming out. I only I forgot it was like Fire Emblem Fates. I've never played a Fire Emblem game, so I can't really judge. But my grief with this is this is the sixth Fire Emblem character we have. Oh you know, yeah, we got what five or six Pokemon. I don't. It's Pokemon's different in a sense. I mean, Marth and Lucina are technically clones. Ike and Roy are a little bit are similar, not exactly like Robin. I, have, I don't have a problem with Robin. I just don't like using Robin. And this character is a lot more unique and um, creative, and but it's, no one really knows who this character is except for people inside Japan. It's it's the game hasn't even come out yet worldwide. It's only in Japan right now. So I'm just like, really, you wasted a spot on the ballot for this. Like it's they like they took a character off the ballot list. Looked like look, I'm assuming they had three for the ballot list. That's why I was expecting more from this. And it's like they just replaced that character last minute with this. So I'm pretty disappointed. The character looks kind of cool to use. I'll definitely be trying it out. It has some unique features. I'll give it that. The design is alright, but it's... I'm overall very disappointed with that character. And then next, they showcase Cloud. Cloud came out today. So I got some gameplay going on with Cloud in the background. Showing off the stage as well. I didn't like Cloud at first. I'm loving Cloud. Cloud is freaking awesome. One of the best characters in the game. It's, so far, at least. And the stage is pretty cool, too. Really unique. And then they showed off all the Mii Fighters. I forgot his name at the moment. The guy from Super Mario RPG on Super Nintendo. Uh, it starts with a G. Gino. G I think it's Gino. I f I'm so sorry if I'm getting this wrong. I believe Gino is now a Me Fighter costume, which is a dick move. Um, gosh. Uh, Ashley from Wario wears a costume now. It's just, it's a mess with these Me costumes. I hate them. And then they showcase the last character, which was the winner, apparently worldwide for the smash contest this is the number one character in uk at least and overall apparently in the world <clears throat> sorry to clear my throat for a second but i'm so confused with this i don't have a problem with her i just i, I mean it's bayonetta from bayonetta 2 and bayonetta 1 bayonetta 2 isn't exclusive to wii so i can understand why this is a character that's confirmed but it's not what i expected at all i was hoping for banjo and kazooie honestly like, I had a bet with Nintendo's name. He was like, oh yeah, Banjo-Kazooie's gonna be in this. He's like, no, the Inklings are. I'm just like, oh yeah, we're in a bet. So I bet a poster and he bet some Bebo cards. And then we both get this. And Dan and I'm, I'm alright. This reminds me of way too much of Zero Suit Samus mixed with Mewtwo, honestly. And then, I don't know. I mean, I honestly, I, want, I was expecting another character after Bayonetta. Their art posters are pretty cool. The character ones for like uh, the illustrations they show on the website, those are really nice looking. I would love to have a poster of those in the wall. You know, like Club Nintendo out the other posters, Villager, <clears throat> Shulk, and Rosalina, and like Duck Hunt. And there was one other, I forgot who it was. I think it might have been Robin. <laughs> but it was just so disappointing. Bayonetta, I, I don't, I really don't know. Could be some a good character. I have to see more of it or play as her. I'll definitely check her out though, but this Fire Emblem character, Corrin, very disappointed in. I was expecting more. I didn't think Cloud was part of the Smash Ballot because I heard a rumor that he wasn't, so I was like, okay, we're gonna get three more and a release date for Cloud. And maybe Mii Fighter costumes, and maybe another stage. I'm like, okay, this is gonna be awesome. And I look at him and it's like, where's my Banjo Kazooie? What? What? Where's Banjo? So yeah, it's. This game has definitely left me wanting more DLC wise. If we just take all the DLC out, this game is amazing, honestly. And the game is amazing for DLC as well. It's just that one character is very disappointing. Um, this is it for Smash DLC. I made a discussion video if this is it for Smash Bros. at all. Um, link below to that as well. So comment down below on that video if you guys think this is it for Smash Bros. total. But, you know, if there's another Smash Bros. game, I hope we get a lot more. The characters that did make it on the list that were also top competitors for the roster. 
for the ballot. So that's it, you guys. Comment down below what you guys thought of this whole direct event, whatever you guys want to call it. Let me know down below. So that's it, you guys. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. This is it.